Hey guys! So you've probably already heard Ariana Grande's new album. I think that it's honestly her best one yet. There are a lot of um, very good songs on it about femininity and just feeling powerful and getting past some very like hard things. So I think it's definitely an album to admire um, and I feel like we've seen a lot of the same themes in her music videos and throughout the album related to color and personality and just kind of a side of like extraness and yeah I thought that would be cool to create a makeup look based on that. So let's get started. So first I'm going to have to wipe off my eyebrows to kind of go more for an Ariana look. <laughs> Now that we have those washed off, we're just going to fill those in a little bit more natural, more of an Ariana vibe. So as always, I'm just going to use the same e.l.f. palette that I normally use. I'm just going to go a little, with a little bit of a lighter hand this time. I'm slightly going to do that. So here you can see that it's a little bit more of a naturally filled in brow. So I'm just gonna do that to the other side now. Okay, so now that our eyebrows are done, I'm just going to go on and start with the eyes. As you probably know by now, I use Urban Decay's Eyeshadow Primer Potion. <laughs> Dab some of that on. So today we're going to use the Jaclyn Hill Morphe Palette. This is Ring the Alarm. These are the colors for that. So we're going to start with just Lolly right here, which is this nice uh, pink color. And then start dabbing that onto your lid. You're just gonna blend that out. Okay, so we're just gonna do that to the other eye as well. I'm just gonna add a little bit more for some extra pigment. Next, we're going to use this red color right here called Bomb Ass. You're gonna get that on the tip of your brush, and you're basically going to line your eyes with that. We're just going to line our eyes. Make this a little thick, since this is gonna be a little bit more of a dramatic look. Once you have that line, we're just going to go ahead and put on our lashes. So I ended up buying some for this look, and these are the ones that I chose. So that's how those look, a little extra. <laughs> and then this is the lash adhesive that I ended up going with. I don't think I've actually worn lashes since I was in middle school and on a dance team. So let's go. <laughs> So let's just add that adhesive to the band. Okay, so now that this one is dry, we're just going to try to put that on our eye. So we got that, so now let's just do the other. Okay, so now we're back, and these are definitely extra. <laughs> so I think I'm going to just add a little bit more eyeshadow to blend that out because you can kind of see when my eyes are closed but I want to give it more of a look. So we're just going to put more of that lolly shade on there. Blend that up a little more. Okay, so now you can see a little bit more of that eyeshadow. Then we're just going to take our mascara. I'm using Urban Decay's Troublemaker. Just going to blend our eyelashes into that. We're going to do a little bit on our lower lashes just to match it. Okay, so that's how it looks so far. <laughs> We're going to use NYX's Liquid Crystal Body Liner. It's going to put that under my eyes. Just going to let that dry. I'm just going to use a darker um, foundation that I normally use and just kind of blend that in. Just to give us a look of someone that actually, you know, leaves their home. Mm -hmm. It's 
brand is Berry M and it's an illuminating stroke cream, so it's a highlighter. I like this one because it's a little, just like a little cream stick. So I'm just going to add that. Oh. So now that we have our highlighter on, we're just going to go in with some lip gloss. So I'm going to start with ELF's Lip Plumping Gloss in this shade. This is Pink Cosmo, and then I'm going to add in a little bit of Ulta Beauty's Lasting um, lip, lip Gloss Stain. And this one is in the shade Princess. Just start with that. <laughs> now we're just gonna dab this in. Okay, so then we have our finished look. Almost. <laughs> different person. I think this turned out interesting. I love Ariana Grande. I love what she's doing um, with her music and how she's, I don't know, I feel like she opened up to everyone a lot with this album and she was really um, apologetically herself. I think that's admirable. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a lot of fun to make and I post every Sunday and Wednesday. I have a lot of cool things planned for you guys, so I hope you stay tuned. See you later. If you'd like to see more content, please hit subscribe.